Number 10, The Great Debaters. Marshall, Texas, described by James Farmer, J.R.B., as the last city to surrender after the Civil War, is home to Wiley College, where, in 1935-36, inspired by the Harlem Renaissance and his clandestine work as a union organizer, Professor Melvin Tolson coaches the debate team to a nearly undefeated season that sees the first debate between U.S. students from white and Negro colleges and ends with an invitation to face Harvard University's national champions. The team of four, which includes a female student and a very young James Farmer, is tested in a crucible heated by Jim Crow, sexism, a lynch mob, an arrest and near riot, a love affair, jealousy, and a national radio audience. Number 9 Inside Man Composed and meticulous, the soft-spoken and ingenious bank robber, Dalton Russell, has orchestrated the perfect heist shortly, the Manhattan Bank at the corner of Wall Street and Broadway, along with dozens of hostages, will be as to command. Try as he might, the rough hostage negotiator, Keith Frazier, is always one step behind the criminal mastermind and what is more disheartening the institution's silver-haired founder, Arthur Case, recruits the intelligent problem fixer, Madeline White, to retrieve something of paramount importance. However, the thieves seem to procrastinate intentionally, when they should be rushing into action. Will Arthur and Madeline get what they want this time? Number 8 The Hurricane This film tells the story of Reuben Hurricane Carter, an African-American man who rose above his troubled youth to become a top contender for the middleweight boxing title. However, his dreams are shattered when he is accused of a triple murder and is convicted to three natural life terms. Despite becoming a cause celebre and his dog efforts to prove his innocence through his autobiography, the years of fruitless efforts have left him discouraged. This changes when an African-American boy and his Canadian mentors read his book and are convinced of his innocence enough to work for his exoneration, however, what Hurricane and his friends learn is that this fight puts them against a racist establishment that profited from this travesty and have no intention of seeing it reversed. Number 7 Man on Fire Hard drinking, burnt out Dexia operative John Creasy has given up on life until he's hired as a bodyguard to protect 9-year-old Peter Ramos. Bit by bit, Creasy begins to reclaim some of his soul. But when Peter is kidnapped, Creasy's fiery rage is finally released and he will stop at nothing to save her as he sets out on a dangerous, revenge-fueled rescue mission. Number 6 Training Day In Los Angeles, a city where streets are overrun by drug dealers, those who have sworn to uphold the law are breaking them to clean up the streets. Denzel Washington plays Lap. Detective Alonzo Harris, a veteran narcotics officer whose methods of enforcing the law are questionable, if not corrupt. Training Day follows Harris as he trains rookie Jake Hoyt over a 24-hour period. Ethical dilemmas arise for Hoyt as well as the audience as questions present themselves as to whether or not Harris' methodology for ridding the streets of South Central Los Angeles of drugs is right or wrong. Number 5 Philadelphia Fearing it would compromise his career, lawyer Andrew Beckett hides his homosexuality and HIV status at a powerful Philadelphia law firm. But his secret is exposed when a colleague spots the illness's telltale lesions. Fired shortly afterwards, Beckett resolves to sue for discrimination, teaming up with Joe Miller Denzel Washington, the only lawyer willing to help. In court, they face one of his ex-employer's top litigators, Belinda Conine. Number 4 Malcolm X Biographical epic of Malcolm X, the legendary African-American leader, born Malcolm Little, his father was killed by the Ku Klux Klan. Malcolm became a gangster, and while in jail discovered the Nation of Islam writings of Elijah Muhammad. He preaches the teachings when let out of jail, but later on goes on a pilgrimage to the city of Mecca. There he converts to the original Islamic religion and becomes a Sunni Muslim and changes his name to El Hajj Malik al Shabazz. He is assassinated on February 21, 1965 and dies a Muslim martyr. Number 3 American Gangster Following the death of his employer and mentor, Bumpy Johnson, Frank Lucas establishes himself as the number one importer of heroin in the Harlem district of Manhattan. He does so by buying heroin directly from the source in Southeast Asia, 
and he comes up with the unique way of importing the drugs into the United States. As a result, his product is superior to what is currently available on the street, and his prices are lower. His alliance with the New York Mafia ensures his position. It is also the story of a dedicated and honest policeman, Richie Roberts, who heads up a joint narcotics task force with the federal government, based on a true story. Number 2. Remember the Titans Suburban Virginia schools have been segregated for generations. One black and one white high school are closed, and the students sent to T.C. Williams High School under federal mandate to integrate. The year is seen through the eyes of the football team, where the man hired to coach. The black school is made head coach over the highly successful white coach. Based on the actual events of 1971, the team becomes the unifying symbol for the community as the boys and the adults learn to depend on and trust each other. Number 1 Glory Glory 1989 is a historical war drama film that tells the story of the 54th Massachusetts Volunteer Infantry, one of the first official African-American units in the United States during the Civil War. The film follows the regiment as they fight for the Union and the rights of black soldiers and also explores themes of racism and prejudice within the Union Army. 